Former President Joe Biden has been diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer that has spread to his bones. Getting diagnosed with any kind of cancer is really disheartening. I wish the Biden family the best as he starts treatment for this. While most prostate cancers found in elderly men aren't bound to shorten life or cause symptoms, we sometimes do identify clinically significant cancers that warrant treatment. Prostate cancer is a very common type of cancer that affects men with a prostate, and studies have shown that up to 60% of 80-year-olds who have a prostate have undiagnosed prostate cancer. You screen for prostate cancer through a blood test that looks for the enzyme PSA, prostate-specific antigen. PSA is released by prostate cells, but it's released more by prostate cancer cells. When PSA goes up outside of the normal range, our antennas go up. PSA screening is recommended to begin starting at age 45 for the average risk male. For men who have any of these three risk factors, either African or African-American heritage, family history, or known genetic mutations, particularly in the BRCA genes, screening is recommended as early as 40. If your PSA is elevated, your urologist will determine whether further workup is needed because there's a lot of other reasons why your PSA could be elevated. But ultimately, if there's a suspicion for prostate cancer or it needs to be ruled out, it will be done through a biopsy, which is just a fancy word for saying that we'll take some prostate tissue. Your urologist will also do a digital rectal exam to feel for nodules on your prostate. Then a pathologist will look at that prostate tissue under a microscope, and if there's cancer, they will grade it from least aggressive to most aggressive. This will help the urologist determine whether treatment is needed at all, if so, what kind, and whether to look for prostate cancer in other parts of the body. And this is likely what happened to former President Joe Biden. With the biopsy showing an aggressive kind of cancer and the digital rectal exam showing a nodule, the doctors were likely concerned that this prostate cancer could have spread to other parts of the body. Per guidelines, they got further imaging that showed that it was in the bones. If the prostate cancer is just in the prostate, then we can think about curative intent with our treatments. But if the prostate cancer has left the prostate and now is in the bones, we shift our focus to controlling the disease or reeling it back. And the way we do this is depriving the body and the prostate cancer cells of testosterone. This is formally called androgen deprivation therapy. Our research shows that men who have prostate cancer in the bones that responds to taking away testosterone can live on average five years, and in some cases even longer. And more and more treatments are coming out to prolong survival even further. But there are a lot of side effects to losing testosterone, and so doctors will keep a close watch on your heart and your bone health. So if you have a loved one with a prostate and they're 50 years old and they haven't had their PSA checked, send this video to them, tell them to get their PSA checked, and tell them to get the health care that they deserve. I hope this was educational.